Hi guys, welcome back to another repair video from me. This is a second generation iPod mini 6GB and as you can see it's reset in uh, the settings. There are no songs or podcasts or anything on it, it's just it's just a regular old reset iPod. This one is showing 5.6 gigabytes free and um, it's a uh, it's a quite straightforward task to uh, to upgrade it if you have the tools and have the spare parts that you need this is what one of the things you need it's a compact flash to SD card adapter you just uh, place a SD card into there and uh, I'm using this PNY 128 gigabytes SD card and of course I am changing to an aftermarket battery on this it's a 750 milliamp ba uh, battery and that will uh, extend the life which will uh, also be extended with the, the change from the micro drive that is in a iPod mini to the compact flash now you start by carefully using a very thin metal pry tool placing it between the body and the top uh, it's a quite strong adhesive there so just uh, be sure to carefully uh, one thing I didn't do is I didn't place the button into the lock position which I should have done uh, that would have made it a little bit easier but just repeat the same process on the bottom end there are two Phillips double zero screws on the top no screws on the bottom but this metal plate can be a little bit tricky to get out if you don't have uh, small enough snap ring pliers which I didn't have so I just used a watch tool and uh, carefully got it out now disconnect the click wheel cable and pull the logic board micro drive and battery out uh, this was the most painstaking process was to uh, remove the tape and uh, bumpers on the micro drive. I uh, did it while it was still connected, but you can, uh, of course, take it off first. Uh, it might be easier to take it off, absolutely. This is showing the 6 gigabyte micro drive. Uh, the drive was working just fine, but I wanted more than more than just the six gigabytes I wanted at least 128 uh, and the interface is uh, directly compatible with uh, the compact flash type 2 which is uh, very handy to know carefully use uh, a tweezer to hold the connector in place and pull the pull the um, Pull the micro drive out. Place the button or sorry the bumpers back in uh, the way they should be. They can be a little bit uh, hard to get on, especially the two top ones. I ended up cutting off a little bit of the plastic just to uh, make sure that they wouldn't interfere with the would interfere with the connection or the um, pins. And I didn't have any other tape than uh, I used Kapton tape to hold the bumpers in place. And here you can see just the interface is directly compatible with that of the uh, compact flash adapter. The battery is held down by one small piece of pretty strong tape. So once you get that off and you have taken off the connector that you can see me placing back in there with the new battery. The battery comes off and you just place the new battery in its place. Now it's time to slide it all back into the housing. Take care to do that so you don't scratch anything. And what I chose to do was I chose to uh, screw the buttons back in before I made the, the, or connected the uh, click wheel cable getting the metal plate to go back into place is very tricky just as tricky as getting it out 
but with some work it's uh, absolutely doable here i'm using some extra high strength uh, mobile phone double, double sided tape to hold the uh, brackets or the plastic coatings back into place and i'm using three of them here on the uh, top plate one large one and two smaller ones i'm not using one where the headphone jack is because there are some protrusions there fasten it and plug it in now you can see it flashing the symbol because there are no operating system on this so connect it to the in this case my mac and just restore it it doesn't take many minutes and once it says the ipod has been restored you will now be greeted with the setup menu once again Remove the uh, lock button or set the uh, settings in not lock. And as you can see now, it has 117 gigabytes, which is what it uh, shows after formats and everything. 117 gigabytes free. And that is the iPod mini done. Thank you for watching my videos, guys. I really appreciate it. I hope you'll take the time to comment and Expect me when you see me.